So if you haven't been following too much and the sister groups, especially on their Facebook pages, that uh, we had uh, a release on May, mid-May 2025, and that one was a big one for the 60 seconds and EQ exposures, the flat shooting, that was really good one. Raw scenery, new languages, and UI refinements. And now early August 2025, we go the optional firmware updates, which means you can update whenever you want and it won't affect it. Uh, and the, especially the 4K live view. So let's take a look because I did have some problems with this. Well, I want to be sure to check on the app first uh, and see what it's new. And it has some new icons, I like new messages uh, in graphic. And this one, it's already showing some new icons. I don't think I've seen this icon, warning icon before. It kind of like scared me. I thought it was uh, something really wrong, but then I continued to the next step. And got to this uh, message, which I don't remember seeing it before. The continue to adjust uh, the C star to the ground angle until it is consistent with the current latitude before trying again. And as you can see, I'm just uh, very close to the latitude that I am supposed to be, which is 36. And I am using the move, shoot, move wedge, which is amazing. The cicadas were extremely loud, so it's uh, kind of like I know in the video. Uh, but I want to show what I was trying to do here. As I read that some people, people are reporting that the device is making a, a very... Uh, strange like a grinding noise and I want you to hear that right now maybe just a little bit more a little bit less okay that is a strange sound well and that is something that I really didn't like so uh, <laughs> that's one of the problems after the upgrade. So I got scared about the noise and I restarted the, tel uh, the telescope again and started all over again. And the second time it didn't do the noise. Okay, now it's moving. Let's see what happens. So what is causing this? Uh, there was an official statement from CWO and they said that they increased the motor current in equatorial mode uh, to make the operation smoother and more stable. But this inadvertently led to increase the noise, but they are saying here that the imaging performance remains normal during shooting. A lot of people like myself starting to notice this now, the increase on the uh, noise when the motor is uh, performing the EQ mode. Increase in motor current in EQ mode for smoother operation. It says that the images are going to be the same, even though that I did have problems with these images for the first time since I got it. What is the stepper motor current in the C-Star S50? It drives the right ascension and declination axis. The motor current, it's the amount of electrical current sent to this stepper's motor. So what can we do to avoid this? Pretty much nothing. I have like these little pads, like they're like shock absorbers that I use. Check the telescope and be sure that nothing is obstructing uh, the telescope as it rotates during the equatorial mode. Uh, some wedges can cause that if they have a screw or something that sticks out and I made a video about this. Uh, also be sure that the uh, tripod is level um, and it's in a good spot, that it's not uh, completely uneven or places that there's a lot of vibrations on the ground and movement and that's pretty much all we can do but do not force it do not try to hold it or get it back manually worst case just end the process turn off the telescope and restart the whole thing again 
And as I continue, I decided to switch to another target. And in this case was the Crescent Nebula, just to give it a try. Um, but unfortunately, the problems continue. And this is the first time this happens to me since I have this telescope. And it found the Crescent Nebula, but it was not tracking. So I got very elongated stars. So I started the whole thing again. I restarted, be sure that the telescope, the tripod is level and I also went uh, for Messier 100 spiral galaxy lots of rejections on the frames and uh, elongated stars so uh, it was a lot of problems but in the end I was able to capture <laughs> for a short time another target unfortunately it has been cloudy like forever for weeks and I am dying to test again hopefully in the next few days and sister did another believe a uh, small upgrade and i want to test all of this process again so stay tuned for an upcoming video of the c star s50 thank you for watching